we're going to be learning about gradients. So gradients describe the slope of a line. So with any given line like this, this line should have a slope, and that's what gradient will give us. Now we're going to be going through the different types of gradients that we can get. So this is a very nice one to start off with. So going from down to up like this, a uh, line like that, we'll have a gradient that is positive. Okay. Now if we take a look at a different one, very similar, but it goes from top down, then this is, intuitively, it will be a negative gradient. Okay, meaning it will have some sort of value. Okay, so for example, I could say um, this line has a gradient of positive 1, while this one has a gradient of negative 1. Okay, so those are two different types of gradients. Now I'm going to introduce a third type. What if we have a horizontal line like this? So a straight line that goes really horizontal. The gradient for this line is 0. Okay, so the value of the gradient for this line is just simply 0. Now what if we have a full vertical line? So what, what kind of gradient value would that give me? Now if we have a vertical line like this, the gradient will have a value of an infinite. Okay, in other words, we can say this, uh, this line has an undefined gradient. Okay, so an infinite gradient or an undefined gradient is what is vertical lines. Okay, so these four things kind of describe the different situations we can get from different kinds of gradients. Now what I'm going to do now is to try and find out the value of the gradient. So if we're given some line like this, what I'm going to look at is the little rise up here and a little run uh, on the side here. So run and rise. Okay. Then what I'm going to say is my gradient is my rise over run. Okay. So if I have my rise over run, that describes the value or the gradient of this line. So now we have a nice little formula. Okay. So gradient equals to the rise over the run of my line. So let's try and use some numbers to actually calculate the gradients of some lines. So looking at question one, we're going to calculate this line's gradient. And we're given that this intercept is negative four and this intercept is positive three. Okay, so what did we say just then? We said the gradient, we want to know about the rise over the run. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to take a look at this run over here. It's going to have from negative four to zero, we're going to have a run of positive four. Now from run, from 0 to 3, we're going to have a positive 3. So we said gradient equals to rise over run. My rise is positive 3. My uh, run is positive 4. So 3 over 4 is the value of my gradient for this line. Okay. Now we know again, it's a positive from down to top. So it's a positive gradient and we do have a positive gradient. So it's just nice to know. Now let's move on to question 2. So we're going to calculate this gradient. And we did note that from going from top down like this, it will look like a negative gradient. So hopefully we get a negative answer for this question. So we have an intercept of 3 and 4. Okay, we're going to deal with rise over run again. So firstly, the run here from 4 to negative, sorry, from 4 to 0 is negative 4. While the run here is still from 0 to 3, which is positive 3. Then gradient equals to rise over run put these two numbers in, so 3 over negative 4, okay? Or in other words, we can say negative 3 over 4 is my value of my gradient. And again, it is negative, so we do have a negative value here, okay? Now, looking at question 3, we're still going to calculate this line's gradient. And just note, we're going to use the same values pretty much, but we're just going to go around this graph to see the different sort of gradients that we can get. So, again, we're only interested in the rise of a run of this line, okay? So the run from 4 to 0 is negative 4 and the rise is negative 3 okay so if my gradient equals to rise over run then I'm just going to put these numbers in so negative 3 and uh, over negative 4 okay so divide two negatives together and we'll just get a gradient of 3 over 4 and again it's a positive gradient so we do have a positive value now moving on to question number 4 Let's take a look at this line's run, okay? From negative 4 to 0 is a positive 4, okay? Not a negative 4, it's a positive 4. And the rise on here is a negative 3, okay? So the rise of a run in this case would be negative 3 over positive 4, okay? So the gradient in this case is negative 3 over 4, okay? So that's how we find the gradient, okay? By using rise of a run. 